Registered Phenomena Code 021 Object Class Gamma Purple Hazard Types Sapient Hazard Regenerative Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-021-1 is to be kept in a padded room in Site-098, located on B Island in the Arctic Ocean. Music must be played into the room at a volume of at least 120 decibels at all times. The room must be lit with at least 3,000 lumens of light at all times through floodlights installed in the ceiling. The floodlights must be changed every two weeks to prevent any possible malfunctions. RPC-021-1 is to be fed three meals a day, and all waste produced by it is to be removed on a daily basis. RPC-021-1 must be administered a Wollin-grade anti-narcoleptic pill with every meal each day. RPC-021 is not to be experimented on under any circumstances. RPC-021-1 has thus far been cooperative with all these security measures, but personnel are to remain vigilant for attempted resistance regardless. RPC-021-1 must be observed at all times by personnel to ensure he does not fall asleep. If personnel believe RPC-021-1 to be on the verge of falling asleep, CSD personnel must be sent in to shake him awake. See Incident Report No. 1. Site personnel must be fitted with heart rate monitoring devices at all times. In the event of any personnel's heart rate flatlining, water sprinklers are to activate an RPC-021-1's chamber. These sprinklers are to be tested weekly. See Incident Report No. 2. RPC-021-1 would not be killed under any circumstances. See Incident Report No. 3. The RPC Authority will attempt to keep the surrounding 25 kilometers around Site-098 free from human development and shipping routes. Description: RPC-021 is a malady of unknown origin that afflicts RPC-021-1, a male of Middle Eastern descent roughly years of age. RPC-021 has many anomalous effects, the most prominent of which becomes apparent when RPC-021-1 goes to sleep. When this happens, all humans in an increasing radius will spontaneously expire. The range of this effect grows at a seemingly steady rate and has a maximum radius of roughly 25 km when RPC-021-1 enters the REM4 stage. Autopsies indicate the cause of death is similar in nature to end-stage fatal insomnia. RPC-021 was discovered on the 23rd of March, 19, when Authority agents followed up on reports of over deaths near a city in Egypt. Mobile specialized teams were mobilized, and managed to trace the source of the deaths in time to prevent RPC-021-1 from falling asleep near Agents attempted to question RPC-021-1 as to where he had acquired RPC-021, but RPC-021-1 was unable to give a coherent response, indicating he was in the later stages of sleep deprivation. The Authority managed to disguise the incident as a gas leak through collaboration with the Egyptian government. The duration of Authority containment indicates that RPC-021 prevents RPC-021-1's death through old age or complications stemming from sleep deprivation. RPC-021-1 still suffers the other adverse effects of sleep deprivation, and its cognitive function has been severely impaired. Because of this, researchers have been unable to successfully communicate with him. RPC-021-1 appears to be in great pain at all times, and researchers have theorized that, given the past behavior of RPC-021-1, RPC-021 painfully compels him to seek out large groups of people before falling asleep. Given the sleep-deprived nature of RPC-021-1 when MSTs apprehended him, some personnel believe that he resisted the compulsions of RPC-021 for a long period of time before finally succumbing. Investigations are ongoing as to the source of RPC-021. Authority researchers has as of yet been unable to cure or remove RPC-021. Incident Log Number 1 
RPC-021-1 drifts into light sleep. Site personnel all killed as a result. Containment protocols updated accordingly. Incident Log No. 2 Site personnel failed to notice RPC-021-1 drifting off, and he successfully falls into a deep sleep. All human life within 25 km is subsequently exterminated. Emergency media blackout protocols initiated, and Class A amnestics are administered to much of the surrounding area. All record of human settlement of Island expunged from public records. Containment protocols updated accordingly. Incident Log No. 3 Head Researcher Flanagan takes a handgun into RPC-021-1's chamber and shoots him in the head six times. RPC-021-1 dies almost immediately. Researcher Flanagan begins screaming loudly and tearing at his hair, evidently in great pain. Site personnel enter the chamber to detain Researcher Flanagan. Further analysis reveals that RPC-021 is transferred to Researcher Flanagan, and he is now to be considered RPC-021-1. Incident Log No. 4 RPC-021-1 threw its food bowl at a ceiling floodlight, causing it to shatter. RPC-021-1 proceeded to slit his wrist with a shard of broken glass. Site personnel entered the containment chamber with the intent of staunching the bleeding, but by the time they enter, the cuts in RPC-021-1's wrist have sealed themselves. No visible harm has come to RPC-021-1 from the attempted suicide. Damage the containment chamber subsequently repaired. Addendum 021-A One week after the events of Incident Log No. 4, Head Researcher Murphy attempted to communicate with RPC-021-1. Begin Log RPC-021-1, we'd like to ask you some questions about your new condition. RPC-021-1, if you are still capable of speaking, it would greatly benefit the Authority's ability to combat this affliction. RPC-021-1, I need… Please… Please what? Please kill me. What is it? Kill me.